Hey, welcome back to BearSquid. In this video, we're going to be dealing with scale diagrams and using a scale factor. Coming up. When designing a house, it would be ridiculous for an architect to draw a full-size plan. Instead, the architect draws a smaller diagram in which all measurements have been divided by the same number or scale factor. A scale factor of 100 would be suitable when designing a house. So in scale diagrams, all lengths have been changed by the same scale factor and all angles are unaltered. You may see an example of a scale that says one centimeter represents 50 meters. Now this means that one centimeter on a drawing represents 50 meters in real life. Another example could be a divided bar. So in this case, one centimeter would represent 50 meters, two centimeters, 100 meters, and so on and so forth. So this is commonly used in maps. A third way, which is more common, is they'll give you a ratio. So one to 5,000. One centimeter in a drawing would represent 5,000 centimeters in real life. Scales are written in ratio form as drawn length to actual length. We usually simplify the scale to an equal ratio of the form one to the scale factor. So stick around, we'll do an example of this. Let's do an example where we consider the drawn length, which equals the actual length divided by the scale factor. A bus 12 meters long is drawn with the scale one to 100. Find the drawn length of the object. So this bus is drawn with a scale of one to 100. We know that one meter is equal to 100 centimeters and we can use that to convert 12 meters to 1200 centimeters. So we're going to use the formula drawn length is equal to actual length divided by the scale factor. Now we know that our scale factor is 100. So the drawn length is equal to 1200 divided by 100. That's going to give us centimeters, which equals 12 centimeters. Let's look at another example where we switch around the formula. So we have actual length is equal to the drawn length times the scale factor. For a scale of 1 to 500,000, find the actual length represented by a drawn length of 15 centimeters. Okay, so if we had a map and it had a scale of 1 to 500,000, then the actual length would equal to the drawn length times 500,000. If the length was 15 and we times it by the scale factor of 500,000, we would get 7.5 million centimeters. Now I know that one meter is equal to 100 centimeters, so that would give us 75,000 meters. And then I know that one kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters, so if I divided that by 1,000, I would get 75 kilometers. So using a ratio as a scale factor of one to 500,000, if we drew 15 centimeters on paper, it would represent a length of 75 kilometers in real life. In the next example, I want you to do this with me. I know it's a bit ridiculous, but I want you to measure your screen. And we're going to get different values and answers, but that's okay. This is a scale diagram of a ship. Use your ruler and the given scale to determine A, the total length of the ship, B, the height of the taller mast, and C, the distance between the masts. And we're going to use a scale of 1 to 1,000. Or every 1 centimeter that you measure on the diagram is going to represent 1,000 centimeters in real life. So I know it's a bit wacky. But pause the video here and try to do this for yourself. Measure the total length of the ship, the height of the tallest mast, and then part C, the distance between the two masts. So for part A, I measured a length of 3.8 centimeters. You just replace this with whatever you've measured this for. So then the actual length is 3.8 times 1,000, which is 3,800 centimeters or um, 38 meters. Now for part B, the height of the taller mast, so that this is the taller mast, I measured a total height of 2.5 centimetres, which then would give me an actual height of 2.5 times 1,000, which is 2,500 centimetres or 25 metres. And then finally, part C, the measured distance between the masts was 1.4 centimetres. So the actual distance would be 1.4 times 1,000, which will give us 1,400 centimetres or 14 metres. Okay, so I know that last question was a bit wacky getting you to measure the distance on your screen, but I hope you had fun. Anyway, see you in the next one. <laughs>